Um, do you know what, right? I'm going to throw some names at you. Uh, I call it the firing line, so I'm going to fire a few names at you. And uh, you tell me if they're cool. You tell me uh, what you think of them. Generally, I mean, you, you say everyone's cool because you're just like the nicest dude in the world. Uh, but if you've got a funny story to throw at me in the same time, please feel free. Um, and the first one is Tiger Ali Singh. Didn't know him that well. Seemed to be a cool dude. I worked with him a couple of times, but I didn't know him that well. But he seemed, I think he was from Canada. He seemed like a nice guy. Or what do you want me to say, cool or not cool? Or... No, if you've got a funny story. I, I'm not, no, I'm not telling you if you don't like him or like him. And you say I, whatever I don't know you want him well. I worked with him a couple of times, but he seemed like a cool dude. Yeah. Uh, Jamie Dundee. Jamie Dundee. Giant killer. <laughs> I'm going to let it go with that. Giant killer. Okay. The, the, the world's toughest, smallest man in the world. The toughest, smallest guy in the world. Giant killer. <laughs> Paul Bearer. Oh, yes. Uh, good joint roller, man. He could roll the best <laughs> joints. I wasn't expecting that. He rolled the best joints, bro. He rolled perfect joints. <laughs> Mantor. Don't didn't remember him too much. I didn't hang out with him. What was his real name? I don't. Um, I just remember the didn't know him that well. Okay, uh, Sonny. Number one hoe in the world. <laughs> Biggest hoe in the world. Nastiest uh, hoe in the world. Ooh. Let me keep going. Yes. This piece of shit in the world. <laughs> you want me to keep going? Yes. You know, piece of shit. Enough said. <laughs> Enough said. Uh, Chief J. Swallow. I mean, she's probably in jail now, right? I bet you she's in jail. Oh, I probably. bet you any amount of money right now she's in jail. Uh, I, I actually spoke to Johnny Candido, um, Chris's brother. And God, he had so much to say about her as well. So it, it, she was just fresh on my mind. Uh, she's just, she's just, she's just, the, she's, not, she's just a piece of shit. Uh, Chief J. Strongbow. Wish I would have listened to him more when I first broke in. Good guy. <laughs> Really good guy. He tried to give me some advice that I shied from. And to this day, I wish, man, I wish I would have listened to him. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Cornette. Uh, Jim Cornette, cool dude. Been around wrestling a long time. Got no problems with Jim Cornette. Cool dude. Uh, Kerry Von Erich. Ah, man. Sad story. Good guy. Great wrestler. Nice dude. Missed. Mabel. Um, Mabel, is that meaning Viscera and Mabel? Yeah, Viscera, Big Daddy V, mate. Yeah, right. Nelson Fraser. Uh, was Nelson, was Big Daddy V, was Mabel? Yeah. Um, what was the other guy's name? Mabel and the other guy. But anyway, good dude, Viscera. I rode with him a lot, smoked with him a lot. He actually stayed at my house, at another house that I had a couple times when he was here. Um, good guy. I rode with him a lot. He taught me how to roll a blunt. <laughs> yes, really. He taught me how to roll a blunt. Uh, just tell you. Uh, I actually wrote this. I didn't mean it to rhyme. I've said Mabel, Sable. Sable was cool. Uh, I was I, I was around Deborah much more than Sable, but Sable was cool. I didn't talk with her much. She kind of didn't really hang around, but I'd see Deborah McMichael. We did cardio in the morning all the time. <laughs> Me, her, and Teddy Long, and we talk all the time. It's just cool, really nice person. But uh, uh, Sable, good girl. Teddy She's Long cool. wasn't doing cardio. You can't tell me he was doing cardio. Sure. Teddy Long is the cardio champion of the world. Really? Nobody could do more cardio than Teddy Long. Listen to me. Uh, he can go two hours on a treadmill running. Wow. And he's like 70 something years old. I, I used to get, I'd smoke in the morning, we'd smoke in the morning, and then we'd go do cardio. And if it was in the, whatever, but we'd always do cardio. And I, to this day, I could do an hour of cardio, no matter what, I could do an hour, I could go over there right now and do an hour of cardio because I did so much with Teddy. I don't know where I got this little cough from. I did so much with Teddy that you learn how to breathe. And once you learn how to breathe, cardio is easy, like mm. anything. Uh, Ackham Albrecht. I think he was Brackus. He was the bodybuilder, the German guy. Brackus. <clears throat> Wasn't he Ludwig Borga? No, that was Tony Halm. He was um, he was the Nordic geezer. Yeah, Brock. I don't remember Brackus. I remember the name. Uh, Nails. Good guy. What from that Minnesota? That Minnesota crew. Good guy. 
you know. Uh, I don't suppose you were that. You, you were, were you in the uh, arena when yeah, the throttling thing happened? It happened in the locker room. I was there. Oh, I, was, I was there. Well, you were actually watching him do it. I was there. I didn't see it happen, but I heard it happening, but I was there. <laughs> I've got a few more. King Kong Bundy. King Kong didn't know him well, um, but he was a good guy. He was always funny. He was always he's a funny guy. Uh, Marty Janetti. <laughs> still living the dream, baby. Marty Janetti still living the dream. God bless him, man. He's, he's going to hang on to the end. He's going to go out partying, baby. <laughs> so he's the same as he was 30 years ago. So God bless him. I think he just had an operation on his leg, I think. So I wish him well. But he's still he's still that 1980 Marty Janetti. <laughs> Did you ever rock and roll with him on an evening out? You must have done. Now, um, he, he would show up at the strip clubs every now and then, but he wasn't part of the group. We had, a, like I said, BSK was our group. That's who we hung around. Uh, and one more, Owen Hart. Ah, missed. Good dude. Great dude. Great wrestler. Good friend. I I also wrote a book uh, like collating all of Owen Hart's ribs, and I think I got like a hundred and sixty of them, and it's like a massive book as well. <laughs> and uh, I don't think there was I ever found one from you. Uh, do you have any that happened to you or that you were around? If Owen ever ribbed me, I don't know about it. Most people, I don't. I never got ribbed, not because I'm tough or not. I just people didn't rib me. I don't. I'm, I'm you know. I don't think they were afraid to rip. Marty Janetti, oh, that's right. Marty Janetti tried to rip me once. And oh, Kurt Henning. Kurt Henning tried to rip me once. That's right. Uh, but Marty Janetti was trying to put a lock on my locker, right? And Scott Hall or somebody came and said, hey, Marty's in there putting a the lock on your locker. So I went there and caught him red handed. <laughs> so uh, and then it was a Scott Hall, uh, Kurt Henning. Rib, but it was it wasn't on me. It was really on Scott because me and Kurt kind of you know double dipped on him. So what was the uh, Kurt Hennig one? I don't remember. Oh. It had some, I don't remember, and it was a thing. It was a thing where Kurt was like doing commentary, so he was kind of in the office, and I, it was something about Kurt was going to bury me in the office. It was something. It was funny. 